What's up, fellow classers? It's Apollyon here, and this one, just like it looks, is completely a nail biter. You can see 89 to 89. Uh, uh, it's a 30 v 30 match. Almost, I think, 0 0.06 percent difference in the total destruction, and exactly the same three stars. So one hit a piece left by uh, both Town Hall 12 v Town Hall 12s. There's only one Town Hall 12 left on each side. Both have been hit. Neither are fresh, and both we both have Town Hall 12 hits to hit them with. So um, you never want to make it come down to the one hit in the war, but this is what it's coming down. So what do you all think happens here? And I'll show you just in one second. And we'll just say props to uh, Gunma Samurai for they clutched it. They came in with their uh, 12v12 and were able to get the three star and, and we did not. Otherwise, it would have been 90 to 90. So can't get any closer than this down to the last thing. And both uh, clans did fantastic. It was a really fun war. So we'll do a war recap here and we'll look through a couple Town Hall 12v12s, a couple 11v11s, and then a couple 10v10s. And uh, we'll wrap it up. So we, we only had three Town Hall 12v12s. So we'll look at those two that have been done. This is the one I was talking about. Actually, our, our Town Hall 10 uh, got a very high two star percent and that's ended up that's what ended up happening uh the 12 just it just didn't go very well the 12 hit so but well, it's it's nobody's fault and that's what happens still great war so let's look at uh turbo hitting their number two so gonna crush this base with a uh, mass minor attack i don't know if i've showed a mass minor attack on a 12v12 yet so it's pretty cool to be able to do that we're just getting some of that uh, trash building out of the way and some funneling done very cheaply with just a few uh, uh, archers minions and baby dragon so that we can uh, get our minor hit uh, obviously want to do the the uh, funneling and the, and the trash building as soon as possible before the eagle artillery is triggered so we've got that nice funnel there at um, one o'clock from 12 to 1 wall wreckers coming in here and everything's going to go in towards that uh, uh, eagle artillery just have a, uh, a king and queen down with no healers behind pop in that king of Ability as it's under the eagle artillery and then popping the uh, cc uh, miners and then we've got a lava uh, i'm sorry not uh, we've got a lava hound and a baby dragon and the cc the only thing we really have to worry about is that baby dragon but we've poisoned it and we've healed the miners in that core so that is going to be no problem taking care of that uh, town hall is now triggered so that whatever it is giga Town Hall or Tesla, whatever it's called, that is activated. But we've, we're, we're, we're locking that down with a freeze. So freeze and heal is going to take care of all of that stuff with the miners. They're going to switch to the queen and just as I can take her out in one shot and then just make their way through the base. We have one more heal and we have two... Um, wizard towers up so we've got to plan that heal wisely but we just have so many miners it's insane how much they crush this base so we are healing on that uh three o'clock uh compartment with the w wizard tower as there was so many other miners at six o'clock with a um uh grand warden's ability protecting them so this is completely trashed um queen is still up and uh yeah it's all over for this base so really really nice done unfortunately the the lava hound does get popped no big deal though it's uh, i think we probably have about 15 plus miners that are left over there so really good way to start us out and then we'll look at the number three um turbo getting a six pack on here so shout out to him. Um, and another mass minor attack. Uh, again, just if it if it works, uh, you know if it's not broke, don't fix it. So we're using a blimp this time in, instead of a wall record to take care of that eagle artillery. We're gonna pop it, or it does get popped anyway, just on top of that eagle artillery and trips the clan castle as far as the air targeting clan castle troops. So really nicely done. We've completely funneled that three o'clock compartment up, and uh, we can use some trash. Um, we can use some just the regular troops just to clean up as soon as we get done with that taking care of that baby dragon we've pulled the baby dragon up to noon and we'll fast forward a little bit 
And I think we use we use a, a I guess we're using the king and the queen with the poison there to take care of that baby dragon. Poison's going to really slow it down from doing too much damage. We've got baby dragon at uh, three o'clock again. We want those troops to go, those miners to go into the core where the uh, uh, town hall is. Uh, Grand wardens drop behind them, and then we've just got a bunch of. Um, uh, miners coming in so if king queen are i think they're going to follow these miners or, or at least try to, to get it. the king's going to try to get into there uh they're going to pop the uh, uh the town hall ability or whatever you want to call it they're going to trigger the the uh the tesla ability right there and then uh they're going to just continue to make their way through the core we've got two more heals queen pops her ability uh king's already popped his and warden has used uh, his ability so all the abilities are out the only thing we have to worry about is this la lava hound we don't really worry about it because it can't do any damage to these miners so we just got to use our heals sparingly and make sure we cover any splash damage and uh, they're making their way down to both the six o'clock there we go too many miners on top of that it was tower so we probably save it for that last wizard tower at uh, seven or eight o'clock and uh, then we're done so we'll fast forward it as uh, everything's making its way around it's uh, the king is tanking and then the miners are going to make their way completely in full health once the seals drop there we go uh, so that uh, one point defense the archer tower and one wizard tower is not going to do anything to these miners especially uh, digging under a heel so we're going to hit, hit it and get the three star so again props to turbo on the six pack really nice done on 12v12 now we'll look at 11 v 11 and we're going to look at a uh, air attack with a blimp and a lalo on the back end so uh, we're coming in at three o'clock to take care of that inferno tower with some loons behind it using that rage to make sure we get everything there the air defense the inferno tower i think two air defenses if if i'm not mistaken or at least we're going to try to get two air defenses so we've got the tesla and uh yeah there we go we finally do get that so two air defenses an inferno tower and tesla and some other defenses really nice there is is, uh, it's either a Laloon or a, La a Lava Hound and Wizard and Archer in the CC. So we're trying not to trigger that. It's not something we want to do. Um, I think the King does it towards the end, but the Queen is uh, staying out of the range of that uh, CC. There we go. And we want to get that third um, uh, air defense. So there's only one left in the entire base. And now we'll start our Laloon. Really nice starting it at 3 o'clock just to make sure we get that pathing the way we want to. And uh, we've got it targeting the mortar. And then we've got the rest of our Lava Hounds and Loons coming in all the way from 4 to 7 o'clock. Still 11 more that we're holding on to with all the spells. And look at the spells. They're, they're connecting pretty much the entire outer of the core to push those loons in the, into the uh, core towards the queen and to the uh, eagle artillery. Dropping the skelly on top of the queen under a rage. Um, and a bomb tower is taken out as well. <laughs> the... the um, the Grand Warden decides that he wants to take a piece uh, and he's going to go ahead and start hitting the Queen as well. So just really do well, well done on his part. And then we've got uh, a bunch of loons that are coming in at uh, noon and we've got a... Um, a haste that we can drop here to push through the base we just really are going to uh, we're going to worry about that wizard tower but that's about it because the inferno tower is not going to do anything to these loons it just it's going to target them one at a time especially if they get into that haste again so uh it takes the the inferno tower so long to heat up to kill each one of those loons unless they have zero health uh, where it, it's not, it's not uh, the same, but we've got uh, a bunch of loons that are going to take that out. There we go. And then we've got the king that unfortunately did um, trigger the La Loon portion of the CC, but it's a little too late for this base. Uh, getting kind of close, but we've got the Grand Warden still up. He's taken away by that CC, but we've got some minions and loons to clean up the rest. So really nicely done. And then we'll just look at one more 11 v 11. And we'll look at Lincoln coming in here with uh, Electro Dragon Attack. Because I, I, like, I really like the Electro Dragon Attack. Now, obviously not a max Town Hall 11 here. But still, you know, Eagle Artillery, all the Inferno Towers, all that good stuff. And um, I think a 50-48 uh, uh, 
queen on the opposing side. So, you know, it's not, not a simple base. So we, we've got our, our blimp coming in there to take care of that six o'clock compartment. Again, we're trying to do the funneling, making sure that we can get our electro dragons going through the base the, the way we want them to. Baby dragon there at nine o'clock to do some more funneling. And then we've got our two electro dragons on each end because we're going to send our electro dragons from uh, 10 to 11 and have them push through the base. Queen has dropped uh, at around 9 o'clock to help with that funnel, making sure that they stay inside the base. Grand Warden ability is used, and uh, that way we can push through a little bit more. Freeze on the Eagle Artillery, and uh, these loons are under rage as well, coming out. Now, this is definitely not something you want to see. You don't want to see your the Lava Hound come out of the CC, because when the Electro Dragons lock onto there, they take forever to kill that, and to kill the pups, they take forever as well well because they it's they're so slow and uh it's just a very distracting thing as you can see there fortunately we have do we have two ground um expos it looks like we have two ground expos which just makes it so much nicer to be able to take care of this base and then we've got uh one archer tower and one wizard tower i think if those expos were not on ground probably would not been a three star they would have been doing so much damage to those electro dragons on their way into there but it's really nice to look at a base be able to exploit the the, the base design which um you know in this case was very susceptible to uh, air attack because of those ground expos so really nicely done there and um yeah then we've got our, our three for that now we'll jump down to a couple fresh hits on 10 v 10 um let's see here yeah i'm pretty sure let me just make sure number three was 13 was a fresh hit yeah it was okay so number 13 getting hit by uh, a bowler witch with a couple healers this is the traditional army um i don't use it that much but it's an incredible powerful army especially for a fresh hit and when you can identify bases where you can walk up like this and just get so much value out of those edges without having air defenses until quite a, a way down the side like at seven o'clock so those healers are going to take care of those uh, bowlers and witches at six o'clock and there's really no reason to say, use uh, um, healers at the three o'clock because we've got so much coming into the base the cc is triggered poison goes down freeze goes down on the inferno tower to make sure it doesn't take out that king wall wrecker is really not wrecking any walls there's just going right down that uh that path it's kind of you don't even need the wall wrecker it does help with buildings but uh, uh i think we could have dropped that jump a little earlier at uh at uh i'd say about 10 o'clock to connect that inferno tower compartment but we do drop it sooner or later more later than sooner there we go make sure that queen can get access to that inferno tower and to the uh, archer tower it's gonna have to pop ability still have a freeze left probably could have frozen that inferno tower and archer tower instead of popping the ability but uh, you know what a three is a three really nice hit and we're just making our way through the base king is still almost full health and with ability too and those healers are still going strong at the witches and uh, bowlers coming up on the flank I uh, don't think the queen is going to make it all the way through the raid We'll fast forward a, a two speed. I think she gets caught by the cannon in just a little bit. Uh, we'll take out that mortar and I think the wizard tower. There we go. But as she steps up in front of the um, cannon, she's taken out. But again, we've got a king with ability, almost full health now under those healers. And uh, then we've got the, just the uh, bomb tower to worry about as that AD can never do anything to um, the witches and uh, king, just the healer. Okay. So two more attacks, and then we'll wrap it up. Um, my, I think mine will use that as a fresh hit. Um, coming in, again, this is my traditional attack, um, not knowing what it is in the CC, not knowing any traps, not knowing anything about it. But it's just looking so nice to come in from um, noon to three uh, with a mass witch attack and a couple of golems. Using the wall wrecker there to get into the base, you want to put your wall wrecker in the path of the inferno tower so it allows your troops to to get easy access to it if not taking it out itself at least getting the the compartment open going to use that freeze just in time before the inferno tower heats up they used a lot of laloon um in their cc which just makes it completely susceptible to so many attacks especially being a mass miner and a um 
uh, uh, La Luna attack itself. But we're pushing our way through here. Wall Wrecker is still up and uh, targeting all these walls. Jumping, I want to make sure I have uh, access to that last Inferno Tower at 6 o'clock. And we're, uh, we're under Rage there. As it heats up, those Valkyries are going to be under Rage to go ahead and take out some of those defenses. Still have a full Golem coming in. Um, and it's going to step in in front of that Inferno Tower and allow some of these Skellies and Witches to take care of that. There it goes down. And then I could have used a, a heal in the core here, but I really like the uh, amount of witches. Look how many witches are there at 6 o'clock. And I wanted to hold my, my heal there because I want them to come around the bottom. And uh, when they get towards that last wizard tower, if it was even up, to use the heal around that area and heal them back up to full. The one problematic thing about this base at this point is that one expo. Um, that's going to be able to shoot behind the wall, and that's going to be very... Uh, uh, cumbersome but their hero queen even though she's going to give her life for this she pops the uh, she triggers the giant bomb and she also uh, gets that um a wall open where the witches can get in towards that uh, expo. So as everything starts making its way in, I'm going to drop that heal. I want to be able to keep those witches alive just in case the point defenses start targeting them like that expo does. And uh, it'll just keep them alive for that much longer. And as soon as these last two uh, uh, gold mines are down. Everything can come into that uh, compartment that was open, that the queen opened. Uh, held that freeze all the way until the end here, just being, again, very, very patient on that and uh, trying to distract that expo with as many skellies as possible. We've got like three or four witches coming in here. And as soon as those um, larries are popped, there we go. There, It's all over for this expo. There is nothing left, and uh, it's a three-star. So nice fresh hit there. And let me just uh, see. I'm pretty sure Hilda's doing a cleanup minor attack here. Nope, not on this one. I think it was on another one. Uh, maybe it was another war. So we'll just go ahead and look at one last final attack. We'll look at Josh coming in here. I think he's using a mass miner. There we go. And um, just taking care of this base, I think, if I'm not mistaken, this was another Lalo, or not Lalo, it was a Lava Hound and Wizard and Archer in the CC. Again, just making the base so susceptible to a uh, uh, Mass Miner hit. And using that Wall Wrecker really to do some funneling. It's That's w what its main goal is, and to uh, distract some of those defenses as we send the Miners in from 9 till noon. And uh, using that queen to just take out all those trash buildings. We want those um, uh, miners to stay in that core. King is being used to funnel on the outside from uh, 12 to 3. And then we've just got uh, uh, one rage and four heals to, to push these miners through the base. Uh, Lava Hound is still up. It's going to be up for most of the rest of the war, or if not the whole thing. And uh, the Archer and Wizard is, are already down from the enemy CC. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, just coming through the base with the heels. I mean, we're just dropping the heels again. You want to either get the miners under massive point defense uh, da damage and heal them, or get them under the splash damage like we just did at three o'clock, where that wizard tower is, um, or potentially where there's a double giant bomb or a, a bomb tower with a, a, bomb, a bomb next to it. Something like that. That's what we're looking for when we're dropping our heels. And at this point, uh, this base is completely crushed. We do have a giant bomb that's right next to that Tesla like I was talking about. But fortunately, those hero miners go target that uh, Tesla instead of the uh, Elixir Collector or Elixir Storage. So that is awesome. And it looks like this Town Hall probably will be going down last. So we'll go ahead and fast forward it. I don't think that Lava Hound has any chance of being popped in time. The Wizard is just not going to be able to do enough damage. And then we have our three-star hit. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. It was a real fun war. It was uh, kind of disappointing not to get the win or tie as it did uh, come down to the last hit. But again, you know, if you're going to lose, lose to a perfect war, right? I mean, like, you can't do much better. And I expect that a lot of these uh, CWO wars are going to end in perfects uh, just 
because it's the, a little bit easier now to get the three star hits. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Go ahead and practice these different kind of strategies and we'll continue to do these war caps for you. Uh, let me know what else you guys are looking for. If there's anything you want me to focus on or, or more town hall 10s, more 11s, more 12s or do whatever it is. So uh, anyway, practice these things. Use your friendly challenges. Get those uh, six star clan wars and practice those three star attacks.